everyone, it's Jack from Cultaholic.com, back again with another news update. Some breaking news, actually, courtesy of WWE's official Twitter account, where they have announced the first eight competitors in the upcoming United Kingdom Championship Tournament. The competitors are as follows. Zach Gibson, Liverpool's number one, obviously one of the best pure heels, not just in the UK, I'd argue in the world of wrestling. He gets heat like nobody else when he cuts a promo. Joe Coffey, the Iron Man, of course, an ICW favourite, and a man who, one of those rare wrestlers who I think is equally good as a heel or a baby face. Uh, Gentleman Jack Gallagher, of course, uh, a familiar face to those who watch 205 Live. Dave Mastiff, who had a starring role on the recent World of Sport, I say recent, it was a couple of years ago now, but the World of Sport New Year's Eve special, uh, and is also a veteran of the UK independent scene, of course. Kenny Williams, another ICW favourite, great high, fl high flyer. He appeared on uh, 205 Live last night, actually, and impressed in a fatal four-way match. El Guerrero, who you may remember from WCPW and, of course, Defiant Wrestling now, as it's known. Um, just a... just a classic stalwart favourite of the UK independent scene. Very interested to see how he's perceived actually by WWE given the fact that his gimmick is a little bit comedic and over the top at first and maybe they'd want something a little bit more serious. We'll see if he tailors his gimmick. I suspect it'll just be the same Leggero that we know and love. Uh, Joseph Connors, former WCPW champion of course, who was actually in last year's tournament as well. Um, and Amir Jordan, your nan's favourite wrestler. Maybe the least experienced of all those guys I've just mentioned, I think, but certainly an up-and-coming favourite and, and someone who can get the crowd behind him like nobody else. It feels like I've just done a promo for the tournament. I should be Renee Young. In other news, uh, according to many fans who attended the Smackdown live taping in London, well, Smackdown live taping, yes, that makes sense because it was taped and then it went, it wasn't actually live. It wasn't actually Smackdown live. It was Smackdown almost live, but not quite. Uh, fans who attended that have reported on Twitter that Jeff Hardy may have sustained an injury during a dark segment after the show. The United States Champion was making his entrance for a match against The Miz and apparently may have injured his leg during the entrance somehow. There's reports of him limping throughout the dark match against The Miz, but people don't seem to think that it actually took place in the match itself. It wasn't a move that injured him. It wasn't The Miz being unsafe or anything like that. It was just apparently something that may have happened during his entrance, a freak accident or something like that. But it's worth noting that WWE have made no mention of this potential injury and Jeff Hardy hasn't either. He actually put out an Instagram post basically just thanking the UK fans for coming to see him and that sort of thing and um, it could just be a case of maybe he pulled it and then, then ran it off or just it's not as serious as it seems but we'll keep you posted on that as it develops and finally some developments on Smackdown have helped shape the money in the bank card for June 17th I believe uh, two big things to really report first of all Paige has announced the newest number one contender for Carmella's WWE Smackdown Women's Championship and that woman is Asuka. That's very interesting indeed. How will Carmella withstand one of the one of the strongest women in WWE history, I think it's fair to say, given her amazing NXT undefeated run. Yes, there was a lot of controversy given the fact that she kind of lost her undefeated streak a bit unceremoniously to Charlotte Flair, given the fact that Charlotte was then easily made a fool of by Carmella almost. And people seem to think that this is kind of slowed Asuka's role or maybe sold short her whole NXT background but at the same time this is her chance to get revenge and to really right those potential wrongs. Um, also AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura clashed in the main event in a non-title match but the winner got to decide the stipulation for Money in the Bank and that winner was Shinsuke Nakamura. He um, he feigned injury, He the referee's back was turned, he pretended that he'd been hit in the testicles, as he's been doing to AJ Styles over the past few weeks. Uh, the referee was a bit confused. He was like, what, what's going on here? Styles turned to plead his innocence and Nakamura blindsided him and picked up the victory. No stipulation has yet been announced for Money in the Bank, but again, we'll keep you posted as and when it occurs. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching this news video. I've been Jack from Cultaholic.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Jack the Jobber. You can follow all of us at Cultaholic and you can check out our Patreon as well if you want, patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. And never, ever forget, of course, to join us.